Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to change out the charge handle on an M4 carbine or any AR-15 rifle really as the process is basically the same. On this rifle here I've got an extended uh, ambidextrous T-charge handle um, and I'm going to be swapping it out for this Hera Arms left hand straight pull charge handle. It's only for straight pull rifles which is what we're allowed to have here in the UK. Um, so I'm going to show you how to change that, but the process is the same for installing any other uh, charge handle that you might have. So first step then, as always, is to ensure the weapon is safe by opening the working parts and inspecting inside the chamber and the bolt face. Once you're happy that it's clear, release the working parts, but don't fire off the action because we need the weapon to stay cocked for when we strip the weapon and when it comes to the reassembly, the hammer has to be in the down cocked position. So, once you've done that, then strip the weapon. If you're unsure how to do that, I have made a video on how to strip the M4 and the AR-15 rifles. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to that video, so go ahead and watch that first if you're unsure. Otherwise, just crack on and strip it down. Push out the takedown pins and pull them out from the opposite side. Take off the lower receiver and just put that off to one side. Now. All you have to do here to take the charge handle out is grip in the charge handle and slide it all the way out of the rifle until it stops. Then take out the bolt, place the butt up one side, and then the charge handle will come out. You may have to wiggle it down slightly in order to get it to slide out because it won't come straight out. And that's it. Place it off to one side. Easy as that. Then you take the new charge handle. And basically the same in reverse. You're going to slide this in. It won't go straight in through there because of these divots on either side of the charge handle there. So it needs to go in at an angle until it slots into its rail and then make sure it can slide all the way forward and back unhindered, which it can. Then we take the bolt, make sure the bolt is all the way forward and we're going to slide that back in as well. Then slide both pieces in like that. Take your lower receiver, reinstall that. And there you have it. New charge handle is installed. Make sure it functions correctly. Now it's important with these straight pull um, charge handles like the Hera Arms one, uh, if you are to open and hold the weapon, don't close the charge handle and release the working parts. Release the working parts and ease them forward because they're not designed to be impacted by the bolt like on a semi-auto. Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, so just a little side note. Um, some of you may be wondering why I've gone with a Hera Arms left hand charge handle as opposed to the T-charge handle or other types of uh, charging handles. And the reason is obviously here in the UK we're not allowed semi-auto full bore rifles, it's only straight pull or lever release. Um, and the left hand system is quite a rapid way of, of firing this weapon. Um, obviously if it was mounted on the right hand side, uh, we've got the forward assist and the shell deflector which would be in the way, so it would have to be either much bigger or a more awkward system to operate. Um, also, if you've got a bipod fitted like this one, you can rest it on the bipod, keeping the right hand on the pistol grip and using the left hand to cycle the weapon. And you can cycle it quite quickly. I'll demonstrate that to you now. So you can see how quickly you can cycle the weapon with the Hera Arms left hand charge handle. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good trade-off really when you can't have semi-auto and it's a very nice bit of kit. Thanks for watching.